So there I am at my first big gig in a fancy hotel. I'm subbing for the regular harpist. I'm in my early 20s. I've only been playing about a year and a half. And I get the gig because I'm available. It's last minute. I have a party dress. I have my mother's rhinestone earrings. So I can look like a harp player. But I literally know four pieces. And the gig is four hours long. So I play my pieces and then I play them and then I play them and I play them. And then this very handsome waiter sidles up to me and he's holding his pitcher of water and he looks down at me and he says, hey, and I say, hey. And he says very sweetly, he says, um, if you play those tunes one more time, I'm going to pour this pitcher of water in your lap. And then he walks away. And I had two hours left to go. I didn't know any other pieces. I could pick out a few melodies, but that wasn't playing. I was a composer. I was learning to play classical music. I would spend weeks writing one little piece, getting every single note exactly right, and I'd never composed anything for the harp. I was learning classical music. That was the real music. And in that moment, I realized I needed to be able to create arrangements right there, right on the spot, or I was going to get fired and I was going to get doused. I needed to figure out how to make music in the moment. And I needed to figure it out fast. And that's the moment that I started a completely different relationship to playing the harp. I realized I did not need to play perfect, brilliant compositions in that situation. I needed to play music in the moment with a simple melody that people knew. And that moment, in that hotel was the moment I started developing a whole toolbox of skills that became a lifetime of improvisation, a lifetime of making music in the moment. So I made it through that gig. I got hundreds of other gigs. And those simple tools opened up a whole new way of playing. And I have put all those tools together to create my online course for harp players, which is called Hip Harp Toolkit. Today, you can learn the top five secrets of Hip Harp Toolkit. There's secrets that I started discovering that day, secrets that were right in front of me, but I didn't know them, so they were secrets. They were right at my fingertips. The secrets that opened up my ability to create music in the moment for the rest of my life. I'm Deborah henson Conant. Join me today for a free play along webinar training an online training for harp players called Five Top Secrets from the Hip Harp Toolkit.